You know who's a really cool character that we all forgot about? Gambit. I still think he's one of the coolest characters designed in this game, uh, especially with the way that he's played the V pad on his fifth skill, the card animations, just top to bottom, such a cool character, uh, so satisfying to play, uh, and still so thematically on point. But it's been literally years since he got this uniform, so, uh, you know, forgive people for forgetting how cool Gambit is, and also, I, I don't know, I guess forgive the devs, like, they can't make characters cool forever, right? I mean, they could. <laughs> they, they really could, but in Gambit's case, man, we're going back to tw the beginning of 2021. That was when he, uh, he last held any kind of uh, relevance when he got his uniform along with uh, Rogue's old uniform. And it's actually worth noting because Rogue just got a uniform for the seasonal. So who knows? Ah, come on. I didn't get stunned by that. So who knows? Maybe Gambit's time is more, uh, you know, is closer than we think. It's more it's more closely aligned with Rogue's than we than we believe. But yeah, I wanted to make a video about, uh, about Gambit, man. Uh, along the lines of the video that I made a couple days ago about Venom, I just think he's a really cool character. And I think his skills just so uh, accurately match him. That was a miss, Brock. Um, that is just that is just awesome. However, you know he's he's obviously not the most meta character. No surprise there. Um, you can just see by the time it's taking me here on stage 50, and this is with an energy CTP. Uh, 50 is just crazy, right? And I just missed another proc. Yeah, not the most proc, like like kind of proc friendly, but also kind of hard. Not the most proc friendly character. Love the V pad. Still love the V pad iframe on the five. Um, but yeah, the damage is not really where it needs to be for him to be considered um, even even close to relevant, which is kind of a shame. You know, a minute 45 is just way too long on stage 50 with double support and a CTP of energy and my cards and my swords and stuff. And we know that not very long ago, right, like a month and a half ago, we got this guy who just completely obliterates that stage, right? Just to put it into perspective for you guys, we're just going to do a really quick side-by-side -side comparison. This video has nothing to do with Havoc. But I just want you to see the difference between characters released um, now versus just a couple of years ago. And yeah, Havoc has no uniform, right? No uniform Havoc. Um, and yeah, he comes from the Epic Quest, which can be a bit expensive. But man, this is going to be... And it's the same. It's a CTP of energy, right? It's the same exact uh, thing here. Oh, I think I was supposed to pass the four. It doesn't matter. It re Like, look at this. This damage is just dis despicable, right? He's just, like, what was a minute 45? We're going to obliterate that time. I'm telling you right now, we're going to... Oh, yeah, we pa we passed the four. We passed the prog on the four to the six. Yeah, look at that. So this is a bad run. <laughs> this is a bad run, and we're doing it in, like, half the time or less. Yeah, crazy, dude. Yeah. So it's it's really a shame. It's really a shame. And I, again, when I made the, the, the Venom video, I put the same PSA at the end. So I'll say it here. This is not a video telling you that you ought to buy Gambit's uniform and build him up. He's not good. For 2024 Marvel Future Fight, he's not good. However, what he lacks in goodness or meta-icity, me meta-ness, if you will, he makes up for in having some of the coolest animations, right? Look at this. Third skill. Two gigantic cards that turn you into a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Fourth skill, look at that. He spins around the pole like uh, your favorite, uh, you know, after work pastime. Okay, then his fifth skill, iframe plus V-pad. And then he's just raining, raining cards. One big one at the end with an explosion. It really, ladies and gentlemen, V-pad iframe with this kind of animation, it really does not get better than this. And one of the beautiful things about Gambit is despite having an absolutely berserk number of hits okay check this out with just his three five combo three and five just three and five ladies and gentlemen he's able to reach over 120 hits but what i want you to focus on we're going to exit practice i'm going to do it again what i want you to focus on is the visual clarity does it look cluttered does it look like oh where's gambit where's the enemy no it doesn't so absolutely just Oh, top to bottom, they nailed it with this character. They really nailed it with this character. And I wanted to uh, really appreciate that in this video. So that's that's why we're here. Uh, now, yeah, the rest of the build is pretty straightforward. We do have an Odin's Blessing. We have no artifact because he doesn't have one. Uh, stage 12, Power of Angry Hulk. And then, yeah, a 200 proc CTP of energy. But that's exactly, spoiler alert, that's exactly what I gave um, Havoc. And he just dusted the dude. Yeah, he's native tier 2. I know, I know, I know. 
But um, but yeah, so meta-wise, he's not winning any awards. But is he cool? Hell yeah. And since his lover, Rogue, got a uniform recently, there's a chance. There's always a chance. So I wanted to bring him to everybody's attention. Just be like, hey, guys, remember this? This was cool. Um, also to be like, you know, devs, listen, you have a really good thing with this guy. Don't screw it up. Please, please to God, don't screw it up. Um, please don't mess with his fifth skill. Keep it exactly the same. Okay, it's awesome. Um, it, it's it, You even gave him penetration. It's a very low chance to penetrate, but you gave him penetration. That's super cool. There was even there was even at one point, I, I believe APN Frankie and a couple of other content creators were doing meme builds with uh, Gambit in PvP. Because before iframe ignore became very rampant, before every meta had iframe ignore, you could actually uh, switch into Gambit during a character's uh, animation and pop his fifth. And because Gambit's fifth was an iframe plus a V-pad, you could move away from them and they couldn't target you and you would just nuke them and blow them up. Um, and it's actually it's actually very satisfying. Well, it was like three years ago, but that time has also passed. I'm not under any, you know, illusions that Gambit is good now for PvP. But you know what? You could use Gambit. Believe it or not, you could use Gambit against Silver Surfer. You just have to bait out Silver Surfer's third skill, which is his iframe ignore. And then you can use Gambit because his fifth skill, of course, all his skills deal energy damage, which he would take, reflect, and die. But because his fifth skill is an iframe, he doesn't take any reflect damage. And because it's also his highest damage dealing skill, it's got incapacitation, it's got penetration. There's actually there's actually some value there. So yeah, just one of the most well-designed characters, one of the most thematically uh, concise and, and accurate characters. And just, man, I, I wish so much more for this character, genuinely. But at the same time, at the same time, I recognize that the following is true of the character. If he were to get a tier four right now, I wouldn't tier four him. And that's pretty depressing since we're eight minutes into a video where I'm literally glazing him harder than anyone has ever glazed anything ever before. I'm glazing this dude like I work the rotation at Krispy Kreme for 25 years, you know? But the reality is there's nowhere to use blast male heroes. Like, we're, we're capped out on that one, son. We've got Doctor Strange. We've got Cable. We've got, even on the villain side, we got Magneto. Like, we're tapped out. So hopefully, two, twofold, right? Twofold thing that I'm trying to say here. Well, sort of threefold thing I'm trying to say here. One... I want this dude to get a rework and a buff, obviously. Two, I want whatever new game modes are coming to the game to actually make other characters relevant. So it's not just the same cream rising to the top and everybody else just being in the dirt, you know? I want somewhere to justifiably use characters like Miles Morales and Ant-Man and all these other shitters who basically, they're not shitters, but they basically have nowhere to go. They have no home in the game because they're not being singled out and restrictions for ABX and ABL, right? So hopefully this new game mode, whatever it is, does highlight these other characters like, you know, blast male heroes like or, and even blast female heroes. Blast female heroes have no play. Sharon Rogers, Blue Dragon, etc. And also um, speed male heroes. But I'm not going to get into that too much. And then the last thing, of course, is that hopefully when they rework Gambit, uh, they don't take away his bread and butter. That fifth skill is just oh, my God, that fifth skill is gorgeous, man. And I believe it's the same fifth skill from his original kit. So this is, we're talking years now, right? We're talking, yes, bro. Yes, bro. Amazing. Um, oh, yeah, his old third skill had V-pad as well. Yo, they gave Gambit not one, but two V-pad skills. Bro, when was the last time they gave a character a V-pad skill, let alone two? Yeah, I know. I think, does Silver Surfer have V-pad? No, somebody's got V-pad. Somebody recently has a V-pad gladiator or some shit i don't know who some someone's got v-pad i can't really remember who it is but man they gave him two v-pad skills that is absolutely doity now i wanted to wrap up the video by giving the devs some ideas giving you guys some ideas so i went and combed through comics that gambit's been in i'll admit i'm not the biggest gambit fan when it comes to actually sitting down and flipping through the pages but he's got some really cool looks from the comics so i did want to highlight those so this first one is from astonishing x-men this Gambit just looks really clean. He, you know, he looks like a bandit, but he's got this like red handkerchief, red scarf thing going on. It just looks sick. It just also a little shout out to my boy Phantom X. But yeah, Gambit just looks really cool here. There's a variation of this one called Thieves Guild Gambit, where he looks like Solid Snake. He looks like he's doing a Solid Snake impression. It's also pretty cool. It's pretty minimalist. It's obviously not as cool as like the big trench coat thing going on with the purple, like, you know, ab shit rotation that he's got now like it's obviously not as flashy as you know what we have but it's 
honestly pretty cool and the thing with uniforms is they've got to make them very distinct right we don't want to see another version of gambit that's just doing the same sort of shit because they've already kind of done that twice where it's like okay we've get it he's got fingerless gloves he's got high knee high boots and he's got this brown jacket like you guys already did this shit two times with the face mask right with the like half balaclava thing it's time to move on to like a new look bro so I'm picking looks that are very different than these ones here. So that's those are my first two picks here. I'd probably lean towards Astonishing X-Men. This is like probably one of my favorites here. But then the next one here, this is Age of X Gambit. This one looks pretty cool as well. This gives kind of like Terminator vibes. I don't know what the hell's going on back here with no face. Um, but he just looks really cool. And he's got a red bandana, which again is sort of like one of his signature colors. But it's obviously a lot more muted here. And it's got an X on it, which is also like just pretty badass. This one's, again... This one's kind of lacking originality a little bit, lacking personality a little bit, but it's still kind of cool. Um, probably the one that people are going to like the most, which I think is the most similar to his uh, other looks that he has right now, the ones I've been talking about, these, these ones, um, is his Mr. and Mrs. X. Now, I am not the biggest fan of this one because, like I said, it's very similar to what we already have. But what's cool about it is they reimagined his cloak, like his jacket, as a cloak. And it feels more like 15th century, like, you know, or not 15th, like, you know, like King Arthur kind of thing. It's got the little the thing in here and it's got the big back with the with the fur. Um, he still has the knee high boots. He's still got the purple and blue shit on the chest and then like the triple belt thing. Um, but I, I do like this one. I do think that this one is uh, pretty cool. And then finally, what list of uh, uh, Gambit outfits would be complete without talking about uh, Apocalypse Gambit, a.k.a. Death? the uh, the horseman of the apocalypse now this is the look that everybody thinks of when you say gambit as a horseman or you know the horseman of death and this one honestly sucks he feels like a creepy leathery rapist or some shit like that. it just it's just weird it, it reminds me of pulp fiction in the worst possible way so i just i hate this shit i think this is terrible uh they should just bin this one and never bring it back however there are good versions of death and it's not this one. This shit looks like Malekith took a shit and it transformed into another Malekith. Again, when they make him look this way, he looks terrifying. But there is a version of Remy as the Apocalypse Horseman of Death that looks cool. And it's something like this. Again, as far as your sensibilities go, are they just taking his base look from the game and turning it all black? Yes. But you know what? I actually think this is a smart move because the devs have to do less work. It will still be very distinct. His eyes will be red. They'll change the color of the cards from purple to red. You know, they'll change his hair to white. Um, and then they'll change him to a supervillain in game. But then he can compete with uh, Magneto. And maybe he won't be seasonal. And then the devs just have to do a color palette swap on the rest of his gear, right? Because the rest of that shit is just dark red and black and really, really dark gray. So uh, in, in terms of uh, work, workload, it's probably on the, on the, the shorter end, which... I, I imagine the three devs left on this game would love. So yeah, that's my pitch. Gambit 2024. What do you think? Hit me up in the comments down below. Let me know what you think of our uh, long lost mutant hero. Does he deserve more or is he exactly where he ought to be? Thank you so much for watching. Smash the like button. It helps the channel. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care.